Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I think we're going to have some fun with this one. <clears throat> Plugging into the theme, entertainment, and I kind of link that with recreation. Think about that for a minute. What, what's the definition of entertainment? Recreation. What does that mean to you? Your own personal entertainment or recreation. We don't have time to get a lot of answers. American Heritage College Dictionary definitions entertainment. Something that entertainment, something that amuses, pleases, or diverts, especially a performance or show. Recreation, refreshment of one's mind or body through activity that amuses or stimulates play. So when I ask you the question, what's entertainment or recreation, we'd have probably you know 20 different answers. Because what's recreation or entertainment to one person is not to the next person. Um, you know, some people like playing golf, and other people think playing golf is about as boring as watching grass grow. And then there's Duke basketball and all of that. <laughs> um, that has been entertainment for me in the last, last two years. I never watched any sport in my life. I moved to North Carolina in 2001, and somehow, living near Duke, I became entertained by the Duke basketball team. I really enjoyed it. Okay, so what, what's, what's an entertainment that we all buy into, that we all, we're all experienced with? The liveliest art, the art that puts it all together, that includes music, dance, poetry, drama on the stage, journalism, acting, the, the art of acting. What art form includes it all? Movies. Movies, motion pictures, motion pictures, uh, and it include as it, it is the liveliest art because it has all that stuff involved with it. So here's what we're going to do for um, getting into the what you guys are going to do. Uh, I'm going to ask you to put yourselves in the role of either being in your own movie, which you are anyway, if you're aware of your life and your conversations and the music you hear and what's the thoughts going on in your mind the people you interact with. This is your film. This is your life. This morning you're at Toastmasters for an hour. That's part of your life. But if you, I'm going to have you respond to some segments of music and come up, you know, what did you hear in that music? How, how, what did that make you feel? Did it remind you of something in your life or something that you're planning, that you want to do? Or if you were involved in the creative aspect of film, either as a screenwriter, a director, an actor, or a novelist, because a lot of novels are made into films. That's another component. Well, literature goes into to, um, to filmmaking. By the way, what about poetry? Let me just insert this question and play teacher for a minute. How would poetry be inserted into a film? How, how would you get poetry in a film? You know, a character in your film in a scene reading poetry, right? Journalism, everything is included. Okay, so you're sitting back. And what do you see? Who are the people that don't have roles today? Because I don't have enough of these sheets. Connie, kind of, you have one of these? Okay, what is your name? Dave. Okay, I didn't get your name. Yeah. One. Ooh, I really don't. I thought we were going to have a small group of people based on... I'll let you guys share. Holly, Sue. Jeff, you have one, right? I did. Okay. Donald has one. That's about it, right? Oh, you, do. you don't have one. Oh, you do? Okay, great. All right. Ken, this could go longer, so you're going you're gonna to stop me if I'm going on too long. Can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your imagination. What, is this, what does this piece do for you? 